most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, now and forever. Amen. Clean hearts create in me, O God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your loving kindness. In your great compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me through and through from my wickedness. Cleanse me from my sin. A clean heart create in me, O God. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. And so you are justified when you speak and upright in your judgment. A clean heart create in me, O God. Indeed I have been wicked from my birth, a sinner from my mother's womb. For behold, you look for truth deep within me, and will make me understand wisdom secretly. A clean heart create in me, O God. Purge me from my sin, and I shall be pure. Wash me, and I shall be clean. Make me hear of joy and gladness, that the body you have broken may rejoice. A clean heart create in me, O God. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. A clean heart create in me, O God. Among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it. And those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me. Where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honour. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. 
He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. Christ did not glorify himself in becoming a high priest, but was appointed by the one who said to him, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. As he says also in another place, You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. And having been made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. Having been designated by God a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. What is the order of Melchizedek referred to in the reading from the epistle to the Hebrew Christians? The order of Melchizedek is a mysterious concept from the very depths of the Bible. Right at the very beginning, Abraham, the founding father, meets a priest and a ruler of what became Jerusalem by the name of Melchizedek. Melchizedek predates Abraham, predates the Jewish faith, predates institutional religion. Melchizedek is a universal figure that helps humanity to connect with the higher power. And the writer to the Hebrew Christians in that letter makes a sort of mystical remark. Jesus is not the founder of Christianity. He's not just a prophet in a line of Jewish prophets. He's something far, far greater, more universal, accessible to all people. He is in the order of the mystical Melchizedek. Jesus is there for everyone to help bridge the gap that we sometimes feel between ourselves and the Creator, to draw us closer to the divine, to give us union with that higher power that sustains us and gives us life and brought us into being. I'm sitting here today near the ruins of All Saints Little Rybra. <clears throat> this is our traditional place to have our sunrise service on Easter Day, which we will plan to do this year, meeting again together for the first time after many weeks of not doing so. It's a good place to be, it's a good place to mark and celebrate the Easter story, that thing which is at the heart of our Jesus tradition. I love this place because it is so open to everyone. It isn't a building that says you must be a club member in order to set foot here to pass through the door. This is a place that is in the public domain. Anyone may come, religion or no religion, faith or not sure, wherever they sit on the faith spectrum or the understanding of life, it doesn't matter. This is a universal place. This is the kind of place, we might say, that is close to the heart of Jesus. This is the kind of place that is in the order of Melchizedek. It doesn't belong exclusively to any religion. It is for all people. It is for the birdsong. It is for the blue sky above us. It is for those natural wonders which are, if you like, the best cathedral of all. The outdoors where we can feel connected by nature 
to the Creator. Jesus is in the order of Melchizedek. The order of Melchizedek is for everyone and everyone is welcome in the Jesus tradition to draw closer to that thing which surrounds us all, whatever name we wish to give to it, the thing that breathes life and is beauty and nature and wonder. Lord Jesus Christ, you have taught us that what we do for the least of our brothers and sisters, we do also for you. Give us the will to be the servant of others, as you were the servant of all, and gave up your life and died for us, but are alive and reign now and forever. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with each of us and all the family of humanity at this time and forevermore. Amen.